Bam, what's goody? Jordan with Baywood Audio here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the top vocal effects using Waves plugins. Now this is one of the last parts of this vocal mixing series using Waves plugins that I will be doing. The episode after this will be mixing ad-libs, and then the final episode of this series will be mastering using Waves plugins. Super excited about it because I've learned something crucial that I'm using on every master chain. But right now, I want to go over my top vocal effects. Let's get it. So let me show you what we have so far. They told us that we wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. When in my bag, I'ma run it up. I put a four in the double cup. So, so we have a nice, clean, crispy vocal that's sitting right on top of the beat. Now we wanna add some sauce to it with some vocal effects. So I'm just opening up a new studio rack and I just added these seven different plugins that I wanna go over that are my favorite vocal effects. So the first one is the doubler four. I'll show you what to do with this. This is pretty much doubling your vocal so we can add more depth and width to your main vocal. It wasn't good enough, straight to the top. Like okay, so how you wanna look at this plugin is your main vocal is this little white knob right here. If I double click that, that's gonna turn your main vocal off. And then your vocal is being repeated four times. One right here, one right here. So what you can do is like, okay, duplication of the vocal is a bit too loud. So all you're gonna do is drag these down right here, or you can move the gain knob down, which is super, is a lot easier right here. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so now it's a little bit too low. So we just bring it up a little bit. Okay, now we can turn that main vocal back on by double clicking it. It wasn't good enough, straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. Went in my bag, I'ma run it up. I put a four in the double cup. Go to the stew and I. Nice. So, and also what you can do is move them left. Maybe I wanna move one a little bit left in the middle. And then I have these outer ones right here. And then let's say over here, you can actually EQ out these duplication of your vocals as well by just like, let's take out anything under a hundred and we'll boost a little bit just to give it some more brightness in the back end. It wasn't good enough, straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. Went in my bag, I'ma run it up. I put a four in the double. Nice, so the blue and the purple are a little bit too loud, so I'm just gonna move them down a little bit. It wasn't good enough, straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. All right, so that's super dope. I like what we have right there. And also, this plugin has a lot of really good presets that you can just go through and don't Doubler four voice, basic doubler, and you know, a fun one I like using is this dark fader. It wasn't good enough, straight to the and then we would move these down a lot. It wasn't good enough, straight to the top like an uppercut. Son of Run it up, I put a four in the double cup. Go to the stew and I fuck it up. She bossing the ass like it's double dutch. Yeah, but you bet you ain't bad enough. She won't be my bitch, but I ain't trying to cut. Don't get me mistaken, I wanna fuck on the Nice, so we're gonna keep that. I really like that, because that's adding a darker voice underneath the main vocal, so. Another one I like to use is just the basic doubler four voices. Just turning them down a little bit, and then moving over a little bit. It wasn't good enough, straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. When in my bag, I'ma run. All right, so we'll use that for now. The next top vocal effect from Waze is called H Delay. This is my go-to delay plugin. I think it's one of the best delays out there because it's so intuitive and easy to use. We can start on one eighth delay. We can start by turning analog off. That is a trick because if you have analog turned on, it's going to add this low end sound that you don't want. And then you're going to want to turn the dry wet knob down. It wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. Went in my bag, I'ma run it up. Okay, so you can see that's right down the middle. Sometimes we may want that, but sometimes you know, in a lot of hip hop and trap, we don't even want the delay to be repeated too much. We just want it to be repeated once, so we can turn that feedback off. It wasn't good enough, straight to the So this is used a lot, and we're gonna take off some highs, but we're gonna low pass up to 5,000, take out some lows, maybe up to 300, and then we're gonna slowly turn this dry wet down. It wasn't good enough, straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. Went in my bag, I'ma run it up. I put a four in the double cup. Go to the stew and I fuck. Maybe take some more highs out. It wasn't good enough, straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. Went in my bag, I'ma run it up. I put a four in the double cup. 
Go to the stool when I fuck it up. She so many crazy things you can do with this. You can also turn on ping pong. It wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. When in my bag, I'ma run it up. I put a four in a double cup. Go to the stool when I fuck. I like using one eighth, one fourth, and one sixteenth a lot. It wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. When in my bag, I'ma run it up. I put a four in a double cup. Go to the stool when I fuck it up. She bouncing the ass like it's double dutch. Yeah, but you bad, you ain't bad enough. She won't be my. I found that the wet knob on seven is perfect. It wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. When in my bag, I'ma run it up. Another really cool thing you can do to get really wide vocals with this plugin is by just turning it to 164th triplet on ping pong. It wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. When in my bag, I'ma run it up. I put a four in the double cup. Go to the stool and I fuck it up. She bouncing the ass like it's double dutch. Yeah, but you bad, you ain't bad enough. She won't be my bitch, but I ain't tryna cut. Don't get me mistaken, I wanna fuck on the road to riches. I'm speeding up, niggas hating on me, but they do too much. So that gives it a nice wide vocal. So there's a lot you could do with that. So my third top vocal effect from Waves is called Meta Flanger. I use this on literally every vocal mix. There's so many dope things you could do with this little plugin right here. It wasn't good enough. Straight to the so you can use it as a flanger. You know, you can go through a lot of these different plugins, use it for chorus, use it for a little bit of reverb, but there's so much you can do by just changing this mix knob. It wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. When in my bag, I'ma run it up. I put a four in a double cup. So let's just try some presets. It wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. When in my bag, I'ma run it up. I put a four in a double cup. Go to the stool and I fuck it up. She bouncing the ass like it's double dutch. Yeah, but you bad, you ain't bad enough. She won't be my bitch, but I ain't tryna cut. Don't get me mistaken, I wanna fuck. On the road to riches, I'm speeding up. Niggas hating on me, but they do too much. Y'all niggas really gon' hate me. Watch when I cop the Mercedes. Please do not lie to me, baby. Is she gon' ride for me, baby? Yeah. It wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. When in my bag, I'ma run it up. I put a four in a double cup. Go to the stool and I fuck it up. She bouncing the ass like it's double dutch. Wow, that sounds insane. And the mix is on too. We're not adding a lot of it, but it's really making that vocal stand out on top of the beat. All right, so my fourth favorite vocal effect from Waves is called Vocal Bender. So this is a pitch shifting and formatting plugin that is amazing to try on all your vocals, especially if you want deeper or you want the chipmunk type vocals. So check this out. It wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. When in my bag, I'ma run it up. I put a four in a double cup. Go to the stool and I fuck it up. She busting the ass like it's double dutch. Yeah, but you got you ain't bad enough. Nice. So I like that deep tone for this specific vocal. As you can see, I was just messing with it. It's fairly easy to use. And then down here, you can do some automation. I prefer not to do that unless I want to go through the vocal. And in some parts, I want the deep vocal. So you can just easily add that automation and go from deep to high vocals. But in most cases, I'm not using that. So I'm just mainly focusing on these three knobs. Pitch, formatting, and the mix knob. It wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. When in my bag, I'ma run it up. I put a four in a double cup. Nice. All right, my fifth top vocal effect from Waves is called the Mondo Mod. Check this out. It wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. When in my bag, I'ma run it up. I put a four in a double cup. Go to the stool and I fuck it up. So for this plugin, I like to check out the presets and go from there. So it wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. When in my bag, I'ma run it up. I put a four in a double cup. Go to the stool and I fuck it up. She it wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. When in my bag, I'ma run it up. I put a four in a double cup. Go to the stool and I fuck it up. She bouncing the ass like it's double dutch. Wow. All right, so this one is called Wow. What this is doing is it just alternating the panning and automating it for you. So you don't have to go inside your DAW, pan it to the left, pan it to the right. When you're panning it left and right, it can actually give your main vocal a lot more excitement and easier to listen to because your kick and bass is down the center and if your vocals on top a lot of times it's gonna sound good but when you're moving it back and forth slightly a normal person 
person's not gonna be able to hear it, but your ears will focus more on the vocal. So it's really cool to try this. It wasn't good enough, straight to the top like an uppercut. Son on my ex like I'm 21. When in my bag, I'ma run it up. I put a focus. And let's say you don't want it to go that far left or that far right. All you do is lower the depth and it's going to bring in how much left and right it's gonna go. So it can do it maybe six. It wasn't good enough, straight to the top like an uppercut. Son on my ex like I'm 21. And also, this is a really cool plugin that we're gonna be using on the ad libs on the next episode, so stay tuned for that. So my sixth top vocal effect from Waves is called Arverb. This is one of the most common vocal effects used by Waves users, and there's a reason why, because it's a great sounding reverb that's really easy to use and really fun. So this is the default setting. <laughs> So before I start messing with the dry and wet knob, I actually like to shape the reverb. So I'm thinking, hey, do I like this reverb type? Well, let's try different rooms that the reverb is in. So let's go to Hall 2. like that church vibe and then we're like hey is that reverb long enough or is it too long so we can mess with the timing right here all right now we can mess with the size of it is it sounding too full out there should we squeeze it in so that we're gonna mess with the size right here all right so a smaller size makes more sense with the beat do we think the reverb is a little bit too loud we can mess with this reverb knob bring it down a little bit Nice. Okay, now we can shape it a bit by taking out the lows and the highs if we want, or adding highs. Nice, now we're going to mess with the dry wet knob to bring it up or down. Wow, we got a perfect reverb right there. I'll probably make a whole separate video just for that because I think it's a really good lesson because it literally gets you perfect reverb every time. All right, so now let me go to my seventh top vocal effect from Waves and it's another reverb called True Verb. There is a certain preset on here that I wanna show you that I think is worth mentioning that I use all the time and it is called Millennium Verb. Check this out. So we can turn off down the reverb right here. And you can easily say, hey, that's maybe too long, but I like that sometimes you really want those long ass reverbs, and this is a perfect plugin to easily get that. So you can also change the decay time right here. You can go even longer, or you can go really short. It wasn't good enough, straight to the top like an uppercut. Son on my ex like I'm 21. When in my bag, I'ma run it up. You can turn off these buttons to take off your direct main vocal. You can turn off the early reflections right here of the reverb. It wasn't good enough, straight to the top like an uppercut. Son on my ex like I'm 21. Went in my bag, I'ma run it up. I put a foe in the double cup. Go to the stool and I fuck it up. She bossing the ass like it's double dutch. Yeah, but you bet you ain't bad enough. She won't be my bitch, but I ain't trying to cut. Don't get me mistaken, I wanna fuck on the road. Riches, I'm speeding up. Niggas hating on me, but they do too much. Y'all niggas really gon' hate me.
lost when I cut. All right, so I think that was worth mentioning because I know a lot of times on the end of your words, you want that long reverb to drag out. Check this plugin out for that. All right, so now the fun part begins where we start combining these different vocal effects and see which ones we want on the chain and in which order. So let's try them one by one. It wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. Went in my bag, I'ma run it up. I put a phone in the double cup. Go to the stew and I'm wow that is a dope vocal mix that sounds really dope with this artist that goes by dexta dior thank you dexta for sending in this song you're a really dope artist so if you want to go check him out look him up on spotify soundcloud wherever he posts his music. So a lot of these concepts we just use with these vocal effects, we're going to be using in the next video on ad-libs because on the ad-libs, we may use some more delay, more reverb. We may accentuate these more and use more of them so the ad-lib doesn't clash with the main vocal. It may be sit in the back and go left to right or sit more on the left with some more reverb that is put onto the right side. So there's a lot of cool things that we're going to try with vocal effects. Remember that it's a lot of experimentation. I highly suggest trying a lot of different ones. Don't only try waves, don't only try stock plugins, don't only try the ones I showed you in this video. Just try different ones and experiment with them by using their different presets, by messing with random knobs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're interested in discovering new sounds for your vocals, you should check out our vocal presets over at baywoodaudio.com. We have a bunch of vocal presets in different styles and different bundles organized by genre and vibe made using stock plugins or waves plugins of your choice. We have them all made for Logic Pro, FL Studio, Pro Tools, and Ableton. And our waves vocal presets can be used on any doll so if you're interested in those check them out below we have over 14 packs made and ready for you to go right now and we just recently been able to reduce the price you know the more support we get the more we're able to lower and lower prices over time so it's a beautiful thing to watch and we're going to be making it more vocal presets and more mastering chains using waves plugins and your favorite stock plugins swoop up a pack try it out and discover new sounds over at baywoodaudio.com if you enjoyed this and got one 1% better, please smash that like button down below and hit that subscribe button and comment down below what is your favorite vocal effect that I showed in this video so far and what do you think sounded best. That is it for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.